So with the recent release of Stable Diffusion 1.5 and the special Stable Diffusion 1.5 in painting models, you might have been wondering, is this going to work with Stable Diffusion Infinity? And the answer is, yes it is. Yes it is. Let's scroll down and have a look at this. There we go, we've got a fantastic picture of a girl with a pearl earring that has been infinitely outpainted using the new Stable Diffusion 1.5 in painting model which as we all know works brilliantly for outpainting. You can also see here that the interface has had quite a large upgrade. There's lots of new things going on. And also in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to install it on Microsoft Windows, even with photometric correction, which does indeed now work on this gaming operating system. So obviously this is the slowest, most difficult OS to use. So I have written a script that does everything in one line for you. Links are down in the description. Just go to the paste bin, copy and paste that, save it somewhere so that you can run it and then just run it. So you're gonna need Anaconda installed and running, of course, already because this uses Anaconda. I've got a video that shows Microsoft Windows beginners how to do that. Basically you download it, double click on the file and then start it. I'm going to start it now. So if you go down to those little four white squares in the bottom left if you're using Microsoft Windows 10, and then you're gonna type the words Anaconda and it's already started to appear for me. So I can just start my Anaconda prompt and there I am. Now I have a special GitHub directory that I install everything into. So I'm going to put it in there and let's just have a quick look. Here I have my script. So I'm just going to run the script now and that's it. That's it, you just have to run that and everything will install for you. Now, obviously this is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna use the magic of video editing and come back to you in a few seconds. And there we go, now everything is installed, so we are ready to start running with just Python app.py. There are, however, a number of different options that you may wish to run with it. So here I've run Python app.py minus minus help, that gives me all the various options that are currently available with it. For example, you may want to use a local model, so you can just pass it minus minus local model, or you might want to use HTTPS, or you might want to use the low VRAM, or you know, there's FAQ and various known issues to have a little read there. But if I just start it with the normal app.py, that will give me the local URL, so I can copy and paste that into my browser there. Let's pop that in there. And then I can click Setup, choose a model that you like. I'm just going to use the Stable Diffusion in painting. Click Setup, that will set up, and then you have your infinite canvas. Now there's lots and lots of new features in here. You've got a reset canvas. You can load and save canvases. You can export your image like you could before. You can upload an image. As usual, you can move your selection, so that moves the little box. Canvas moves the actual canvas itself. You've got an eraser, which you can also change the size of as well. So you can have a big eraser or you can have a little eraser. Uh, outpainting obviously runs the outpainting. You can zoom in and out. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out as well. There's a little information help box there. You've got canvas settings now as well. So if you want to change the size of your canvas, that is the place to do it. You can enable image to image if you want to overpaint or repaint a particular section that you're in already. Uh, you can resize the small input, which is what we do here. Uh, enable safety checker, I'm going to leave that on, of course. Square selection only if you want to use a seed too. There you can click random seed. So lots and lots of new options at the top there. Init mode patch match is the one that I tend to use. Uh, now to start off with, I'm not going to use photometric correction, but there's also a mask mode and a border mode. So if you're doing masking, obviously you want to use the mask mode. If you're connecting images together, you're going round and round, you probably want to use border mode. There's now also a negative prompt option. You've got three uh, schedulers there, PLMS, DDIM and KLMS. Uh, you've also got a DDIM ETA that you can change. Steps, I'm just going to drop down to 30 for speed and guidance. I'm going to put up a little bit for reasons. There's also a sample number as well. So let's just put this sample up to three, for example, and we're going to have uh, a fantasy, if I can spell fantasy, art painting of a rodent. There, okay, so let's draw this rodent. Now another new thing is the canvas will stay locked until you accept or cancel the current outpainting. 
So this will pop in. And whereas before you could just carry on for this one, you will need to accept or cancel each individual one you do. So now I've done three different samples for this, remember? So I've got a rodent there, but I can also click on this next result and I've got another rodent there. And then there's a third one there. I like that one with the moon. So I'm going to accept that one. And now once again, I can move my selection box around. If you want to resize your selection box, you can do so there. You just drag that out. I'll make that a little bit bigger. And again, confirm because you have to confirm everything now. Let's carry on with that fantasy art painting of a rodent. I've got border mode because I've got a border in there. So let's out paint that rodent. We should get a rather cool rodent. Hopefully it will look very, very nice. And the photometric correction will mean that you can't really see that border and it will just look like one new big image. Let's see how well it does. Will it do quite well? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Windows is, of course, a fair bit slower than Linux. Uh, on Linux, I get about 18 iterations a second. On Windows, I get somewhere between two and six. So there we go. That is outpainted very 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 nicely let's uh, have a look at some of the other options because i got there that one's okay uh i actually kind of prefer that one i kind of prefer that one so let's drop that one down so i'll go back to just one sample so that we can be a little bit faster now the eraser for example you probably want to go to mask mode rather than bordering so say i don't want that bit in there i'm, I'm still going to keep it as fantasy art painting of a rodent just for reasons and now when I rerun the out painting, this will just give me the one sample. So it should fill that in very, very nicely. And uh, we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. There it goes. But it's not too bad. I've still got a little bit of a signature there. But yeah, let's let's click accept. And so basically you carry on like that. So you can change your prompt each time as well. So say I want to go over here and we'll just have a fantasy art painting of the cosmos because I've got a little bit of a planet there and I'll put that into border mode. I'll do the out painting there again. So this, this should fill in that top bit there with a fantasy art painting of the cosmos. And we'll just leave it running again. There we go. Now that's looking pretty good, isn't it? That is looking pretty good. But say, say I didn't want that. Well, Let's have another one. You've just got the sample number at one. You didn't like any of the samples or, or, you know, you had it at three and you didn't like any of the samples. You can just click retry and that will have another go at that. So let's see what the new version of that looks like. That's also pretty good. It's, it's, it's kind of carried on like that. So I'm going to accept that and let's put this over here. So now you, again, you can change the prompt and let's have it to uh, blurry. Let's take blurry out. So I've got negative prompt blurry and we'll move this over a little bit. We'll do that out paint again. And this should fill in my fantasy art painting of a rodent. So we'll, we'll carry on getting the cosmos here. And so if you wanted to go down there, you could maybe fill that in as a planet. So whichever area you put your selection box over, there we go, we'll accept that. You can just scroll out and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and just keep going out painting and out painting and out painting and then save your image or save the canvas and come back to it again later. So there you go. It's all absolutely really, really cool. Everything joins up nicely. Now you can create some really, really big images. Plus, if you want to learn even more Nerdy Rodent Geekery, then you can have a look at one of these two videos.